in late 2018, tourists will be heading into space. And there's a race on to get them there. I've done a lot of adventurous things on Earth, but going into space is kind of the ultimate adventure. Virgin Galactic would at last take paying customers beyond the stratosphere. But their efforts might be eclipsed by SpaceX, a company planning to send two tourists around the moon, taking them further into space than any human since 1972. Science fiction is becoming science fact, and that's what we're going to see next year. The first that will happen when you are in space is just a feeling of weightlessness. Being free like a bird, no strings attached. Watching the beautiful earth, the blue waters, the land masses, the darkness of the universe in the back. I can't think about a better place to be. There's a new breed of would-be astronauts for whom the sky is no limit. It's very difficult to be an adventurer on Earth today. Most of the world has already discovered. I've certainly done my part in traveling around the world. But space, that is where the true frontier is for us in 2018, being adventurer. That's where we gotta go. But it's not in everyone's reach. Multi-millionaire entrepreneur Per Wimmer will be one of the first tourists to go into space with private company Virgin Galactic. Going to space ain't cheap. I've certainly spent um, more than a million dollars. The ticket itself, then you got training and it starts to add up. If all goes to plan, in 2018, Virgin Galactic will launch Mr. Wimmer to the edge of the atmosphere, where he'll be able to look back down on Earth. But Elon Musk's aerospace company, SpaceX, plans to go one step further, on a flyby loop around the moon. It's orders of magnitude more difficult to get to orbit or to go around the moon. The energies, the fuel, the power, the materials are on a whole different level. We have a liftoff, 32 minutes past the hour, liftoff on Apollo 11. Only 24 astronauts have ever made the almost 240,000 mile voyage to Earth's nearest neighbor. In 2018, two paying customers could be the first humans to venture that far into space for over 40 years. But this mission is shrouded in mystery. They've not disclosed who's actually going, but it's someone with the means of paying for private rocket launch and a trip that has never been done before. There are serious doubts whether these ambitious targets can be reached in 2018. SpaceX has yet to carry out fundamental tests on the launcher. But if these missions do go ahead, they'll be dangerous ventures. Only about 550 people in total have ever been to space. And launching is still a risky endeavor. Until we get that perfected, it's going to be one of the challenges private space companies face. Obviously a major malfunction. 18 people have died in spaceflight, and one of Virgin Galactic's own test pilots lost his life in training in 2014. Once you're in space, everything from orbital debris, traveling at 17,500 miles an hour, to the loss of bone and muscle density, which could have detrimental effects to your health. You have got to take risk. You are pushing the boundaries. Family, friends, they tend to be more concerned. I have signed a, a letter of consent. I take on the, uh, the risk, but I'm aware of what I'm doing. This boom in the commercial space industry marks a new era in space travel. The fact that the private sector has to compete with one another requires they innovate, and that will help drive down cost. This is extremely important for revolutionizing access to space. As more and more people go to space, and we master space tourism. That's going to enable whole new economies in space. We'll be able to go to the moon, to asteroids, to Mars, all because we lowered the cost of access to space. I could see space travel being open to the masses within a decade. 
and opening space up to the masses may have an impact on the way humans see the Earth itself. When Apollo 8 came around the dark side of the moon and saw Earth for the first time as a whole disk, that gave us a sense of how small we are. Space tourism has the ability to help change humanity's perspective on what it means to be human and what it means to take care of the Earth. Thank you.